Thank you, Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen of the House. I agree with much of what Representative uh, Stilwell just said, that the <clears throat> minority report is contained in the majority report, plus. It's the plus you need to understand. The minority report contains simple, contained, uh, very carefully worded language, which is also in the majority report. It delays the biggest business tax increase in our state's history for a year. Does a little mumbo jumbo with the uh, cost containment center and one other item to make last year's bill work. Now let me tell you what the plus is that the minority doesn't like about the majority report and I suspect some of you aren't going to like it either. Number one plus, uh, uh, let me say the number one plus that maybe you think is fine and that's the increase in benefits. For me, when we're facing a shortfall in the fund, a deficit, and we all acknowledge that, that's why we have some hesitancy about postponing this tax increase, but we have to because of the economy. We're making the deficit worse by increasing benefits. Okay, you may think that's fine. But do you want to remove the current requirement that a person has to get, have one job application per week to be eligible for benefits? You want to remove that? I don't. I think it's a great thing to encourage those out of work to apply for a job. This report that you're about to support removes that requirement if unemployment is above 7.5%. Well, it is. So we have the ironic principle of saying, OK, if employment's really bad, you don't have to look for a job. Does that make sense? Makes no sense. So that's one of the pluses you ought to be thinking about. Second plus, end run on the referenda pro process. Increase in property taxes, removing people's ability to speak on that. It precisely does that. It increases in those areas where construction unemployment is in excess of 10%. OK, so there's some qualification. It increases the size of a project that comes before the public. So if they can vote on a $10 million elementary school today, uh-uh, don't get to now. It has to exceed $15 million. They get to vote on a high school project if it exceeds $20 million today, not under the majority report. $29.5 million project, no referendum, taking that away. Any other, that miscellaneous category, which is currently $12 million, we said, have said for the last couple years, if it's $12 million or more, you get a vote on it. Not under the majority report, goes up to $18 million. We, we went through this last year, where we were trying to promote construction by removing the referendum process. Well, all you had to do is put some uh, environmental specifications in there, and you don't get a vote for it. Why we're doing that on the unemployment premium tax bill, this is precisely what I got up and talked about last Thursday. Let's not junk the bill up with a bunch of side issues, with a bunch of disconnected items that, uh, that have nothing to do with the primary, the principal debate of unemployment insurance premiums and get into these other areas. You may think those, that it's okay to bring these in. I'd ask you to oppose the majority report and support the minority report for two primary reasons, removing the requirement that those who re receive unemployment insurance have to seek a job. <laughs> Why? And number two, telling our taxpayers, we don't want you to vote on these projects. We're going to raise the limits. The taxpayers on both of those issues won't like that majority report. 